When voter turnout means everything, snow can really disrupt the caucuses. A blizzard is moving across the plains toward Iowa this morning, and that's making some candidates nervous. The latest poll of Democrats shows Hillary Clinton with a three-point lead over Bernie Sanders, and Nancy Cordes is at a caucus site in Des Moines where Democrats will make their choice tonight. Nancy, good morning. Good morning. Yeah, it's hard even for Iowans to believe that the day is finally here. Take a look at the front page of the Des Moines Register. Big red and blue letters, caucus, let your voice be heard. This is one of the places where those voices will be heard. This is Merrill Middle School in Des Moines. Tonight, about six to 800 Democrats will gather in this gymnasium. The Clinton folks over there, Sanders folks over there, O'Malley folks back there. And then they'll try to convince each other to switch sides, making an already tight race even more unpredictable. We can't afford to make a mistake. Looking for redemption in the state she lost eight years ago, Clinton boiled her message down to its essence. Stick with me, stick with a plan, stick with the experience, stick with the ideas that will actually work for our country. Just like 2008, a one-time underdog is nipping at her heels. It sounds like you want to make a political revolution. Promising major change. Here's a radical idea together. We're going to create an economy that works for all of us, not just the 1%. So in this first column, we've got age and gender. Lincoln High School is over on Southwest Night. I'm calling with the Hillary Clinton campaign. The campaigns have invested heavily in their get out the vote efforts. We're going to walk it three times before Monday. The Sanders team told CBS News 4,000 volunteers knocked on 112,000 doors this weekend. I will be caucusing tomorrow. For Bernie? Bernie, yes. Oh, Excellent. Good. And yet a poll out this weekend found 83% of Clinton supporters say their mind is made up, compared to 69% for Sanders. Both of them pulled out all the stops this weekend to charm voters even serenading their supporters. This land was made for you and me. Make some noise for Bernie. Go out and vote. Former Maryland Governor Martin O'Malley is at 3% in the polls and in a primary that would make him a non-factor. But in a caucus where neighbors can horse trade, they can switch allegiances halfway through, that 3% could make the difference, especially since Clinton and Sanders are separated by about three points, Charlie. Thanks, Nancy.